Okay, now we'll get into our base personnel rotations. The first one we'll look at is our one key from base. So again, this is very similar to what we just looked at. Uh, we'll still have the safeties key off of that movable gap, and then the linebackers will be responsible for the other guys in the core. Typically, that would be the tight end and the tailback. Now, I don't have a ton of film of this. We don't do this a ton, uh, but we'll look at a couple examples here um, that can illustrate what we're going for. So um, here in this look, again, 3-4, even spacing. Okay, so we've got 3-4 personnel, but still playing even spacing because we've got 2-I and a 3 technique here, uh, two backers. Again, they'll disregard the movable gap because we're playing key, so they can still play lever, spill lever. Um, now, one note here, you know, really we'd want uh, this backer, like if he got a down block and say the guard pulling, um, really we'd want him to lever that one. Uh, but because of the thing we talked about earlier in terms of this, you know, line of scrimmage guy being a spill player, we'd really like him probably to spill um, like the fullback coming at him because the safeties can still make him right. Uh, but that can kind of be by game plan, skill set, what else you're getting. Um, again, the, the safeties, it's helpful to have the safeties coming from depth because they can make the guys in front of them right if they don't fit it properly. So, um, again, we can do this, still play lever, spill lever. Again, the backer street like this guy's not here. You know, if you were to, uh, you know, block this, uh, block our outside backer here, again, this safety would be down. Uh, you know, we can go to the deep middle of the field here, you know, play this gap, uh, play this gap. If there's a puller, um, again, that would pull us over one gap. Uh, but again, we're gapped out here. We're very sound. Um, you know, we're in good shape. So it's just based on game plan and matchups and all those things that we talked about earlier with the pros and cons, um, that would tell you kind of you know, how you wanted to play it or that would give you some clues on how you wanted to play it so we'll look at a few examples here so actually what we're doing in this case we've got a little bit of a funky formation so we've really got a four back set um, including the quarterback they're kind of running like run plays as if they've got four backs in the backfield with three in the backfield you'll remember we don't have a four on three term some people do I think it gets awfully complicated so what we're doing here actually is uh, keying off of 89 and then we've got the other three in a funnel on the two backs in the backfield. So I think that's a pretty good solution. You know, it, it simplifies things for the backers as we always do in key. Uh, they can just disregard him. And again, the safeties will account for the gap that he creates wherever he goes. So we'll look at a couple of examples of this here. So we get a swipe. So this safety should be down. Now he has to find this guy. He has to find 89. Um, you know, he gets stripped up here. But it looks like he's, he's like going to bypass. So we'd have to fit outside that. Um, if he kicked somebody out, we'd have to fit inside of that. But again, we'll just account for the gap that he creates. Okay, so again, both backs now are inside. So really, we can just fit it, you know, go lever, spill, and then he could fit this B gap. There's no pullers. So this ends up being a relatively straightforward one as much as you can be, um, you know, with four backs in the backfield. Bounce that backer does a poor job staying in his C gap. As long as he stays in his gap, you know, we've got plenty of guys here. Um, if he starts sniffing around inside now, we can run into trouble. Okay, similar, uh, this is going against the scouts here again. Same, um, same or similar formation. You know, playing it the same way. So we've got a key going on here, funnel on these two backs. So as, as he blocks down, again, this guy should be uh, in a funnel and levering this 28 so he can fit there um, with the puller. This guy can scrape, and then the backside backer would be the, in the front side A gap there um, with the puller. And he fits inside here, so the, the safety ends up working outside to make him right. Again, the advantage of, of coming from multiple levels here. So uh, really, we fit this okay, not great. You know, but all in all, I think we'll be okay here if, if we had that in the game situation. Okay, go to the up top view. Again, king, funnel on these guys. Okay, this one's interesting. So we get a, um, a backside insert here. But again, we're disregarding that guy. So, you know, as they run like a lead concept here, you know, the indicator fits here. So we should go here, here. So he can lever it. He can spill it. He can fit in this backside gap. Um, and then this safety would fit downhill here where this guy adds. And then uh, deep middle of the field there. So again, we really should be in pretty good shape. We don't get it quite right. You know, this backside lever kind of ends up overlapping. Um, into the front side gap, but again, this is a pretty good picture here for us. Pretty good there. Not not great by the safety. Safeties are off. Safeties are like, you know, this actually this is kind of tough because this can look like a swipe, meaning, 
you know, he'd have to come down. That goes back to one of those cons that we talked about in playing one key is you've got to be 100% with your reads on that guy because if you don't have the middle of the field safety, um, it's not a winning business model, as they say. Okay, again here, split backs, playing it the same way. He stays. Now we get a little bit more going on the back split, and then we get a puller as well. So really he can spill this to the lever player. The pull should bring him outside here. And again, really based on the pull, he can fit here and the safety can fit downhill. Um, we've got a guy in every gap. The one thing now that's holding 56 is he's got to cover this guy, right? The, he's still in a funnel. Um, so for coverage purposes, you know, he's being he's being pulled a couple different directions there. But um, again, we're in pretty good shape. We end up with good numbers. No real issues there. So again, I think this was a kind of a useful way to, again, simplify things for the backers. Usually it doesn't take this form, um, but it's nice to have this in your toolbox. So if you do need to do this, that you've got the opportunity to. So again, swipe here. The safety can fill downhill. He can spill it. Okay, as long as we've got this B gap player here, he can fit back in the A gap. No puller, so he can fit there. He can really fit there. He can fit um, with the swiper there. Works out pretty well there for us. I think we've got a couple more plays here. Okay, full flow here, like a lead option. So again, we know we've got a little bit of an issue potentially against quarterback run. So again, I would say he should fit outside here. He can end up taking the pitch, fitting outside this uh, this block. He can fit inside, run the alley. He can run the alley. Um, again, with the quarterback running the ball now, um, really we've got you know two uh, this this front front side A and back side B gaps are open for just one defender. Um, you know, but at, the more he presses outside, the more he can press and just be an extra guy here backside. So we can string it out, and then you know again we can play, take the pitch, and then you know trying to get to the quarterback, trying to get to the quarterback, and he can just play the ball as he comes downhill here.